On April 3rd, 2023, a significant announcement was made. Yes, indeed, after more than five decades, human beings are headed back to the moon, including the first person of color to go to the moon, the first woman, and yes, the first Canadian. I'm going to bring in our specialist, Scott Sutherland, who talks about all things space and science. Uh, Scott, this is an exciting collaboration. We have Jeremy Henson going to the moon. Yeah, and this is big for him. This is his very first trip to space. Uh, he's been an astronaut for Canada since 2009, uh, but he hasn't gone up to, to space yet. He hasn't been to the International Space Station. He hasn't flown in orbit. So his his first trip is going to be a, a doozy. <laughs> this is like going to the big leagues without playing in the juniors, I guess. So yeah, uh, yeah. good for him. He's been waiting it out. Um, and, mm -hmm. and this is his time to shine. Tell me, this is not going to happen until 2024 before everybody gets too yeah. excited, but November 2024 is when Artemis II is expected to head to the moon. Tell us a little bit about this mission and the reason behind it. Uh, so Artemis II is following up on Artemis One. Artemis I last, launched last year in 2022, uh, which was an, a robotic mission to go around the moon and just sort of test all the systems that, that we need in order to send people there safely. So. Artemis II will follow up on that and put the, this four-person crew on, um, Reed Weissman, uh, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Jeremy Hansen from, uh, from Canada. So, um, and they want to, this as a, a, a stepping stone to putting uh, astronauts on the lunar surface again after 50-something years uh, with Artemis III, uh, which will land near the lunar south pole. Um, do some experiments and some explorations and then come back. And all of this is meant to to be a gradual step towards putting a permanent uh, human presence in orbit around the moon with the Lunar Gateway Station. And that will have the Canon Arm 3 on there, so Canada will be contributing, and we'll have rovers on the, on the lunar surface um, to help out astronauts doing their explorations. And all of this is to eventually uh, step by step, get us to putting humans on Mars. Now this seems almost unbelievable, but they are doing this step by step process, uh, yep. going into deep space, one step at a time from the moon, from going around the moon to being on the moon to then going to Mars. Tell right. me a little bit uh, about the difference now and 50 years ago. I mean, it's incredible the technology that has happened, we know here on yeah. Earth, uh, but what does it mean for the astronauts? Well, um, back then it was it was basically a race. It was a race uh, to get people to the moon first. They had a lot of money behind them to do it. So they, they were able to do it very fairly quickly. Now we haven't had a reason to really go back since then, but this push to go to Mars is what's driving this. And so for these astronauts to go now, uh, they have so much more technology at their fingertips, so much more advanced technology, cameras and, and so forth, to be able to take better scientific readings of the moon, to, um, I guess, better enjoy the trip as well, because the, the um, Orion spacecraft is going to be far better outfitted for human travel than the old Apollo uh, capsules were. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this being part of going to Mars is going to be the next huge thing for space travel.